Gallium is awesome. I mean, it's a metal, but it's also liquid. Playing with it feels like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. Schwauza. But wait, gallium looks like mercury, and mercury was a classroom favorite until everyone found out that it can wreck your nervous system and even cause cancer. So should we be worried about gallium too? Don't worry. I'm George, I'm a science teacher, and I'm gonna tell you the chemistry behind why it's generally safe to roll gallium around your palm, even though doing the same thing with mercury might be deadly. Now, like most metals, both mercury and gallium can be toxic if they get into your body. So please don't take this video as permission to taste test gallium. However, here are the key reasons why it's much safer to use gallium in the classroom than it is to use mercury. Reason number one, gallium isn't as volatile as mercury is. Volatility is a measure of how easily a liquid evaporates. Mercury is pretty volatile, which means that even at room temperature, it is constantly giving off fumes. This means that just being near mercury can expose you to these fumes. And when you breathe those fumes in, they go into your lungs, which then spreads in your bloodstream. <gasps> Gallium, on the other hand, has extremely low volatility. While, yes, you can heat anything up to vaporize it at some point in time, you're mostly going to be dealing with gallium at around 90 degrees Fahrenheit. At this temperature, gallium's vapor point is effectively zero. This means that while you're playing with gallium, none of its atoms are floating around in the air and getting into your system. So, while mercury can poison you from across the table, gallium just kind of sits there. Reason number two. Mercury wreaks havoc inside your body, while gallium mostly doesn't. Inside the body, mercury starts to react, and it forms compounds like methylmercury, which are fat-soluble. That's bad news, because fat-soluble molecules can hide in your body's fatty tissues and stay there for years. Furthermore, since your cell membranes are also made of fats, methylmercury can slip across them, get into your bloodstream, and even break the blood-brain barrier. This means that it can get into your nervous system and start damaging your brain cells. Gallium, on the other hand, behaves very differently. When gallium ions get into your body, they form water-soluble compounds or bind to proteins in your bloodstream. While some of these compounds, like gallium hydroxide, might have a slight toxicity to them, what? since they're water-soluble, they can be filtered out by your kidneys and excreted from the body. Oh, really? So, even though gallium and mercury look similar in YouTube videos, their chemistry and their safety are completely different stories. Just remember, gallium is generally safe to touch, but not to eat. Thanks so much for watching this. These videos take so much effort and my students really appreciate them. So if you could consider liking or subscribing, it would really go a long way in keeping this channel alive. Thank you.